Have you ever stopped to wonder what it means to be truly blessed? We often focus on material blessings like success, health, or prosperity. But God's Word reminds us of an even greater treasure, spiritual blessings in Christ. These blessings are eternal, unshakable, and available to every believer. Today, let's dive deeper into what it means to be blessed in the heavenly realm. Well, hello, my name is James Long Jr., and I am a pastor, counselor, and university professor. Welcome to Lessons for Life, where I help people whose pain from their past or their present is influencing their perspective on life. Through teaching them about a person, the Lord Jesus Christ, principles and promises that are driven by God's Word, and giving them a pathway for change, my goal is to guide you towards peace, hope, and joy. In today's session, we'll be exploring how God's truth can transform your life and how to experience the joy of forgiveness and freedom found in Jesus Christ alone. Well, the passage of Scripture that we will be looking at today is found in Ephesians chapter 1, verse 3. It says this, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. Here's the devotional thought. Now, as believers, we often look for blessings in our daily life, our health, our family, our work. But the greatest blessings we have aren't physical or material. They're spiritual, given to us in Christ and stored up in the heavenly realms. God has given us every spiritual blessing through Christ, and these blessings transcend what we can see or feel here on earth. These include our salvation, adoption as children, God's children, forgiveness, and the promise of eternal life. Our lives here are often filled with trials and challenges, but we take heart in knowing that God's blessings to us are eternal, rich, and beyond anything this world can offer. We are blessed in Christ, and this means that because of our relationship with Him, everything that He has, the favor of the Father, righteousness, and eternal inheritance also belong to us. Let this truth fill your heart with gratitude and awe today. Bringing it home, here are three ways that we can apply today's devotional. Number one, focus on your spiritual blessings. Take a moment today to reflect on the spiritual blessings you have in Christ, your salvation, your relationship with God, and your eternal inheritance. Write them down and thank God for them. Number two, shift your perspective. When challenges come your way, remind yourself that the most important blessings are already yours. Even when things aren't going as planned, God has provided everything that you need in Christ. Number three, live in gratitude. Instead of focusing on what you lack, celebrate what you've been given in Christ. Gratitude is a powerful way to shift your focus from earthly struggles to heavenly blessings. Well, let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for the spiritual blessings that you've given us in Christ. Help us to remember that our greatest blessings are not found in this world, but in the heavenly places. Fill our hearts with gratitude for your grace, mercy, and love. May we live each day with the knowledge that we are truly blessed in Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, thank you for joining me today. If you found this lesson helpful, I encourage you to explore more resources and support on my website, jameslongjr.org. That's jameslongjr.org. There you can also join our Lessons for Life monthly membership or our online group coaching program, where you will find powerful coaching videos, a supportive community, and step-by-step guidance for lasting transformation. Remember, true change is possible when you walk in God's grace and for His glory. Until next time, may you find peace, hope, and joy in Jesus Christ alone. Blessings.